hello hello cancers welcome back everybody welcome back to queen cancer tarot channel everyone i am the host my name is Catherine. i'm here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages i have timeless readings for all of our lovely cancers sun moon rising and venus signs this is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed by clicking on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all the messages that I bring. Also, Cancers, if you are subscribed, please, please make sure you click your notification bells. And if you are not, make sure you are. Click on that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of your screen again so that you will be included in the giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry and free reading so if you are manifesting any of those things cancer please make sure you are subscribed to the channel you can win up to three times in a calendar year okay um and i do giveaways we play games on this channel as well so you can win that way cancer um uh and again i randomly select subscribers so make sure you are subscribed and that's all you need to do it is free to subscribe to this channel cancer and I work to earn that subscribership and that viewership along the way so please please trust in your girl give me an opportunity and join this collective and i would love to have you this is a very loving group we are very respectful and loving in this space cancers this is a very safe place for you and um i hover over each and every one of you all right so um, blessings to all of you. So let's get started with the reading cancers. We're going to do a little bit of a different format and we're going to kick off cancer versus all of the individual signs. Okay. All 12 signs, but we, this first actual episode, we're going to kick that off by doing a general love reading. And this is cancer and cancer's person. All right. So we're going to look at the energy of cancer. What is, um, this is the energy surrounding cancer, the energy surrounding cancer's person, okay? And then we will look at what you can see coming towards you, cancer, and what you cannot see coming towards you. Then we will look at the challenge, cancer, that you're going to face with your person. Then we will have a look at the um, advice, cancer and the final outcome okay and then we will clarify all right so let's get started cancers and uh, let's look at your energy first here so we have the knight of cups here for cancer's energy cancer scorpio pisces energy coming through here and this Knight of Cups can represent an energy of someone who is um, being very flirtatious, Cancer, or someone who has definitely got the energy of um, knowing what they want and doing a little bit of letting the other person know as well. So a bit of flirtatious energy, someone who is moving in a way that they want to be noticed, um on an emotional standpoint, okay? Um, this can also represent someone being very playful or someone who is going back and forth, um, you know, not really committed to any specific person, but um, just kind of 
moving around and uh, getting to know multiple people, Cancer. So it can represent a lot of d different energy here. But I'm getting that strong energy of somebody who is um, flirting with someone or someone who knows or is sure that they want to be with someone and they are letting this certain someone know this. Okay. So there's that. All right, Cancer, on your person side, we have the fool. The fool, Cancer. And, uh, Cancer, this fool here, which is funny, I do see in the clouds what appears to be an owl in the clouds. You see that? Um, but with this full energy here, this person, of course, carrying their knapsack cancer, they're not staying in one place or they're not ready to settle down at this current time. So the person that you may be flirting with at this time, cancer, is one that may be either playing a little bit of hard to get, someone who is... Um, not really ready to settle down with one person, Cancer, um, or someone who just moves around a lot and is not ready to really um, have the responsibility of a relationship right now. Okay, so this person is looking for um, the next opportunity, Cancer, and it they don't expect it to last very long, but they are moving and looking for something. All right. So let's look to see what this energy is that you do see coming towards you, Cancer. So we have the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands, Aries, Sag, Leo energy. So, Cancer, this represents someone who is, um, I would have to say with that Two of Wands energy, Cancer, this person is making plans. Um, but this person is not really thinking through those plans. They're just wanting to act on it. That page of wands here, Cancer, this represents someone who gets an idea in their head and they run with it. The minute it pops into their head, they don't take the time to think about what's going to happen when they do this, or they don't think about a plan B. They just want to move forward. But with that with that two of wands energy, this is someone who is making plans. So I feel like there's a bit of, um, <coughs> there's a bit of energy of wanting to play it safe, but at the same time, there's this um there's this excitement that you feel about this person. I don't know, with this with this Knight of Cups energy cancer, um it's a bit of you feeling um it's like this person makes you feel young. Like they make you just want to forget about, you know, being uh, responsible all the time. They it's like they bring out the youth in you, Cancer. Um to an extent. Um with that two of wands energy, there's still a bit of, you know, wanting to remain in a safe place with this person not wanting to go too too far, but there is an energy of wanting to jump out there, Cancer, and just you know, put it all out there with this person. So I feel like you flirting with this particular person, Cancer, is something that is um, new for you. 
um, because you are more introverted, um, I would say, Cancer. But in this particular sense with this person, this is the last person that you would find yourself just throwing yourself out there. Or, you know, it's a very vulnerable position that you're in with this person. Because this is not a person that is, like I said, they're not ready to settle down. And this is obvious about this person. This person moves around, okay, um, and makes a business out of it, Cancer. So let's look to see what you don't see coming towards you. And we'll clarify all of this cancer to make it make sense here so we have the hermit and the four of swords virgo energy gemini libra aquarius the hermit and the four of swords here and cancer the hermit is an energy of somebody who is thinking um about what they want to do. They're not really interacting with their person. With that Four of Swords, this again is somebody who is really kind of wanting to be off to themselves while they make up their mind on what they want to do here. Um, so there's an energy of someone who is going to be, I feel, distancing themselves. Um, with that hermit, again, this is somebody who really doesn't know what they want. With that full energy, I feel like this is an energy of your person who may, you know, just disappear, Cancer. And you may not know why this person has just kind of gone completely silent on you. And I feel like there's an energy of being under some pressure here. Um, but let's just see. Let's look to see what the challenge is, Cancer. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Magician, Cancer. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. Strong, strong Virgo energy here. Cancer. Um, but with this Seven of Pentacles and the Magician, um, someone is really, really seeing the benefits in investing in a connection, Cancer. Um, but with this Seven of Pentacles here, like that, that, ma that magician, Cancer, represents someone who manifests things very quickly. Um, it's very easy for this person to get what they want. They're not used to having to wait for a very long time. And in this case, Cancer, this person is needing to be patient, okay, um, in order to get what they want here. And this is an energy of someone who's not really used to waiting on anything. Like I said, it's very easy for this person to manifest and get what they want, Cancer. Very easy for this person. And they're not used to waiting here. So there's a bit of a challenge, I feel like, with someone being told to wait or someone... Um, knowing that it's going to take some time before this person is ready to give them what they want here in this connection. So you may be a little impatient, Cancer. Okay. Like I said, you pretty much know what you want here. You're very eager, ready to, you know, do what you got to do here. Um, but again, with that two of wands, there's an energy of someone who is you know, wanting to take their time here or someone who's not really ready to move forward. So let's look to see what the advice is for you, Cancer. So we have number 17 in the major arcana, which is the star, Cancer. 
Aquarius energy and the two of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Cancer, and this is... I feel like, Cancer, this is an energy of just be patient. Okay? Just be patient. With this Two of Cups, Cancer, this is this talks about a soul tie. This talks about two people coming together as a very strong connection. Two people having a very strong bond, Cancer. And coming together and realizing that this is a partnership. Um... Cancer, this person that is in this full energy may be having an about face here. Things may be changing, Cancer, because with this hermit energy, Cancer, and this four of swords, this person may have an epiphany because this talks about somebody going away to get their head right, okay? Going away to figure out what they want, Cancer. And with the Four of Swords, that talks about clarity. So this person may have gotten an epiphany that, Cancer, they don't really have any time to waste here. Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. Like, they may realize that they really do want to manifest with you. So let's see what the final outcome is here. We have Cancer. The High Priestess, Water Energy, this is Cancerian, Piscerian Energy here, and we have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Cups, Aries, Sag, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. And Cancer, that Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands, I mean, this is an energy of someone who really, this person is just head over heels in love. Head over heels in love. With, the, with this High Priestess, Cancer, this is an energy of someone who is divinely guided towards someone or they feel or they have this... Um, inner voice that is telling them that this is their person, Cancer. And this is someone that you are extremely, extremely in love with. Or this is on your person's side, Cancer. This could be the energy of your person. Like I said, I feel like they have gotten some sort of clarity about this connection, Cancer, where I feel like things are changing. I feel like things are changing, Cancer. So um, we're going to go ahead and clarify this energy. And I have a new deck that I will be using, Cancers. And this is a very beautiful deck. This is the Fountain Tarot. The Fountain Tarot, if you can see the boxing there. It's very beautiful. Um... So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. I've already cleansed the deck, Cancers, but I'm shuffling it and using it for the first time here. So Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancer, please. And see what this energy is on your side, cancer, with this Knight of Cups. I said this is an energy of someone who is being flirtatious, letting their person know that, you know, they are available and ready, cancer. Um... Tell us about the Knight of Cups here, please, for Cancer, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us. And we have the Four of Cups in the reverse, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. And Cancer, this talks about the Four of Cups in the reverse or in the upright is someone who is 
very disconnected from their person. They, you know, this person is standoffish. They're quiet. They're not talking like they used to. It, when it's in the reverse cancer, this is someone who is, it's like this person has this awareness or this sudden awareness that this person is the person for them, Cancer. This person is the person for them. And like I said, this is someone who sees what they want and know it automatically. All right. So with the strength card here underneath the deck, this could be an Aries, a Sag, or a Leo. Um, cancer that you're dealing with. But this is someone who is really um, putting on their brave face. And remember, I told you, Cancer, this is someone that you wouldn't normally go after. And this is not even your style to go after anyone. Um, you're more introverted in this particular case with this person. This person is more extroverted, Cancer, and you are a different case here. Um, but with the strength card, I feel like there is a, a bit of um, courage, confidence that you get with this person because you know what you want. Tell me about this bull energy here. Tell us about your person. Holy Spirit. And we have the five of cups and the six of cups, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And this is 11 cups, Cancer. Talk about twin flame energy here. And talk about someone from the past here. This could be someone, Cancer, either that is younger than you or someone that you you knew when you were younger. Um, but with that five of cups energy, there's an energy of someone who... Um, there's something that this person is going through. There's some, this person is going through a bit of a, there's a, a relationship in this person's past that didn't go the way this person wanted to. And I feel like there's an, an energy of this person afraid to repeat mistakes of the past. I feel like this person is not wanting to settle down because they've been hurt in the past, Cancer. Under the deck, you have the Two of Swords. So this person, I feel like, either lost someone in the past that they really cared about, um, or there's something that this person isn't telling you about something that happened in the past that didn't go very well and um this person is just not they're very non-committal they don't settle down um they don't get too serious with anybody cancer there's a reason for that tell me about this five of cups tell me more about this five of cups please we got two cards here the Six of Swords and the High Priestess, Cancer. What did I tell you? I feel like this person is being very secretive or quiet about having to um, escape some sort of um, troubled past. Or there was something very traumatic about this person's previous relationship that did not go well, Cancer. And this person... Um, you know, they're, they're just not talking about this cancer. Um, but let's see. Tell us about what is coming towards cancer that cancer is aware of. And we have the two of wands here. And the page of wands. Tell us about the two of wands and the page of wands for cancer, please. Holy Spirit. And we have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Seven Swords, Cancer. Seven Swords. 
And this is an energy of someone who is not being honest. Um, or there is someone who is keeping a secret or has some some sort of secret or something that this person isn't telling you. Under the deck, we have the King of Swords. And again, Cancer, this is an energy of someone who is very, they're here one day, gone tomorrow. Um, this is an energy of somebody who acts um, like a lone wolf, Cancer. They, um, yeah, they're just a very, very lone wolf energy. They do things on their own. It may appear to be secretive to someone because this person just is not talking much and they don't stick around for very long. So it's just an energy of not really knowing much about this person, Cancer. I feel like there's just an energy of you. And I'm sorry, this is the King of Wands. This is the King of Wands, Cancer. And with the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, Cancer. Again, this is an energy of somebody who is extremely quiet. With that Three of Swords, this represents someone who has gone through a loss or suffered some sort of a trauma, Cancer. King of Wands represents an energy of someone who um, this person likes to take control of the situation. And in this case, Cancer, I feel like this is your energy. Um, again, Cancer, I feel like there is uh, an energy of you wanting to move forward, but not this other person really does not want to. They're playing it safe, Cancer, with the Two of Wands. But with the Page of Wands, Cancer, you are... Um, ready ready to jump out there here with the king of wands this also talks about somebody who is being very bold and just kind of taking things in their own hands here but again cancer with the three of swords and the four of swords i feel like this person over here really doesn't want the attention like they don't want any they don't want any attention, Cancer, because they're not really sure what they want to do yet. This person is not sure what they want to do. But with the King of Wands, Cancer, you are going to do something or take some sort of bold action here. And it may just call this person's bluff. You may just call this person's bluff, Cancer. Like I said, Seven of Pentacles with the Magician you don't want to wait. You want to manifest, Cancer. You're not, this person is not used to waiting. You're not used to waiting here. Or you're not wanting to wait. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician. And we have the Six of Pentacles in the Reverse, Cancer. I told you, this talks about somebody who is taking control of the situation this talks about somebody with um a power dynamic this is like a power move here cancer and i feel like you are taking control of the situation um and getting this person to really put up or shut up cancer ten of wands underneath the deck this is this is a lot of stress. I feel like you are really putting a lot of stress on this person um, and putting them on the spot here, Cancer. 
this is an energy of you putting this person on the spot um but again with the hermit and the four of swords this person they want to have um make this decision on their own okay they want to make this decision on their own they don't want to feel forced what do we have here the emperor in the reverse cancer what did i tell you this represents somebody who is not able to control the situation or someone who feels like they're losing control um and this is going to cause this person to shut down cancer i really feel this way six of wands underneath the deck cancer this is someone who has a lot of pride, Cancer. Six of Wands. Someone who has a lot of pride, Cancer. And they don't want to feel like they are being, you know, punked into a situation for lack of a nicer word, Cancer. <laughs> um, but yeah. So tell me about the star and the two of cups and again cancer this is an energy of either there being hope for this connection coming together in the future or you being very hopeful cancer tell me about the star and the two of cups please and we have the seven of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy and this is an energy of someone who has a, a lot of options or who is making some sort of consideration, Cancer. Under the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. So this can also represent multiple people. So it could be that this person needs to make a decision between multiple people and they want to be away from everyone cancer while they do this with the high priestess here the ace of wands cancer and the ace of wands can represent someone with um again who has just a very very passionate uh connection here Someone who is head over heels cancer for someone. Tell me about the high priestess and the ace of wands and the page of cups. And we have the eight of pentacles. Cancer, this represents someone who is bossing up here or someone who is working or improving themselves are trying to improve the situation or who is trying to um someone who's trying to upgrade their situation or feels like it is in a level up for this person in this connection again i said with the high priestess here this person feels like they have been divinely guided here um, Eight of Pentacles also represents someone who is um, off on their own working on something, Cancer. And this person could very well be doing this, taking their time, um, deciding what they want to do, who they want to be with. Under the deck, Cancer, look at here, look at here. This person has realized, just like I said, the Queen of Cups under the deck you are that person this is what this person has decided this is a level up move this is a boss up this is a, a come up this is something this person has worked on cancer and has come to a decision on um and this person has decided they want you um over all of the choices cancer with the seven of cups there were multiple people to choose from cancer with the three of pentacles here this person could have been talking to 
um, someone that they trusted here. Um, but they have come to a decision on cancer. So we're going to take this into an extended cancer. I want to um, have the link available in the description box below. We're going to look at the energy behind you and this person cancer. Um, and we want to look at how things are going to end up for you in the future and what is coming towards you. And any advice for you and this person and any challenges or things that you don't see coming. All of that in the extended. The link is in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I will see you back soon. Bye.